Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Red Dead Redemption 2. If you're having as much fun as I am with this, go ahead and press those like and subscribe buttons. And now let's continue. Oh, that's Mrs. Downs there. Interesting. What can we do for her, I wonder? Mrs. Downs. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean... Well, I... I this country... Is man unleashed? That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick, which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See. Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Well, maybe I could go. With well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Wow, we are left entirely without purpose, it seems. Nobody wants our help right now. <laughs> Man, it sucks to be ours right now, really. I mean. Dutch has turned evil. We have done a lot of bad to a lot of people. And now, even when we offer the help for free, it seems people do not take it. I guess this sort of signals the uh, downfall of this gang. And Arthur personally. Who, by the way, seems to have gotten uh, a much better character since he got sick. You got a problem? Probably worried about his Mr. Effemy. Hey boy, your mom's a whore to the boy. Be quiet, Mr. Dockery. Be quiet, please. Oh boy, come on. We're just teasing. There's nothing wrong with being a whore. Can she give me a discount? Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh, all right. oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Oh, you are asking for it, friend. Is the other guy fighting me too, or what? He's in a fighting stance. Can't wait to kill you. Ain't my fault you made the boy a bastard. Now who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go. Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. <sighs> Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. All right, I, uh, I would say he did good. I mean, obviously now he cannot return to work for the miners. But uh, giving him some money was the right choice. If he would have just sent him without money away, yeah, that would have been uh, pretty bad. A pretty bad situation to leave that family at. Alright, I'm... Uh, I guess I'm liking the new Arthur is what I'm saying. Hey, leave here now. From now on... I'm guessing he will do a lot more good than he does bad. And that's kind of fitting because from his sickness you can kind of see he doesn't ha have much fight in him. So he better use that fight for good. Oh, we have a mission for Micah right here though. Okay, let's check it out. 
And if it's a mission for Micah, it's probably for Dutch as well. These two go hand in hand these days. <laughs> Was you followed? No. Was you followed? Are you crazy, man? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And yeah, not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, Maybe time for folks like us is past. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing ain't simple with you two, but okay. Guess we gotta do this. And what money? So what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out, and he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It really isn't. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Yeah, sure, he's gonna stop chasing us just like that, huh? Something tells me this will turn into shooting real fast. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Will we actually get to kill Cornwall in this mission? That'd be interesting. What happens then, I wonder? I mean, he's the one paying the Pinkertons. Will they still be chasing us after that? Arthur, get behind something before you're spotted. I am behind something, man. <laughs> the Malvina is the name of his boat. Okay. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. 
Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What the hell? What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> Take the deal, man. I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise! Well, I said we would, and we did. So that is the end of Mr. Cornwall, huh? What the hell have you done, Dutch? Kinda weird, I didn't expect it to happen this way. But, I guess that's the weird way in which Dutch's mind works. Someone kill this bastard! Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here! So what happens with the Pickertons now, I wonder? Same question as I expressed before. Are they still hunting us? Because nobody's paying their bills anymore. Man, they are right. This is Mr. Cornwall's town. Look at all these men. Oh man, Arthur moves a bit too slow today. I probably su should switch to a rifle, but I kind of enjoy the handgun. Oh man. <laughs> I like it when I shoot them and they fall. They do that in spectacular fashion always. What's the plan here, Dutch? Where are we going? Why are we getting inside this building? Advanced a bit too far. Good thing we got some dead eye left. In a revenge mission, it wasn't. We got what we came for. Those papers. Finally putting that bastard Cornwall out of business for good. Did you put Dutch up to this? Me? I do. Orders, Morgan. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, this town is crawling with Pinkertons. Well, not Pinkertons exactly. With Cornwall's man. Now oh, let's just tackle him. <laughs> huh. Mike, I wanted a piece of that. Sorry, man. He's all mine. What oil wagon? That one? Will that blow up? I don't know. It's just one guy. It's no need to blow up the wagon, I guess. 
Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. Well, he's got a point, I have to say. Let's head for the hills, boys. For all the needless killings, killing Cornwall wasn't a bad idea. I mean, the guy was a real bad person and clearly not giving up on chasing us. So we might as well, if we are killing innocents, we might as well kill him as well. Him too. He's the one that deserves it, is all I'm saying. And he's one of the three loose ends we got, actually. It's Cornwall, it's uh, O'Driscoll's, and the Law in General. Now, the Law in General is never going away, that much we know. But the other two, we can take care of. All I'm wondering now is the Pinkertons, are they still on us? Look out, fellas! They're still coming! Shoot the bastards! Because you know what? If I was the Pinkertons, I would still keep chasing us. I mean, there's a substantial reward for each one of us. It doesn't matter if Cornwall pays them or not, we can still get paid themselves. Ah, we're in the clear, boys. Come on. Whoa. We all okay? Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Oh, they are keeping me in the dark, these two. That's not good at all. <laughs> 